Thank you, ladies afternoon. and gentlemen. First set, first leg. It's John to throw first. Game on. So you were saying, Paul, that you can't really see a shock on the cards this evening. I don't, but I say that with a little bit of hesitation. So because there are possible shocks always. But when you look at the form of James Hurrell, for example, you don't expect him to lose to the Belgian this evening. But 44. I suppose we do have to mention that he hasn't won on the Lakeside stage in his two previous attempts. Yeah, beaten by Larry Butler in a prelim back in 90. 2016 on debut and was seen off by Mark McGinney. 3 1 the following year. Then had some time out through illness. But it's great 60. to see him back and at the top of his game. Well, first and foremost, Murph, it's, it is good to see him back. It's good to see him fit, healthy, throwing really well, maybe better than ever. 100. But we have to talk about that hiatus from the game because if you go back to 2018 when the championship was here from the 6th of January, he was scheduled 100 to be here, scheduled to play. He had to withdraw through that illness and... As a consequence, Richie Edwards played as an alternate. And there were genuine concerns at the time that we might not see James Horrell back at the lakeside or in any darts venue for that matter. But the fact that he's back four years later, 60. this is about James being John happy, healthy and still with us. Treble 17. Desremo looking to make this opening leg all about him and he's... Got a healthy lead in it. He did have a healthy 95. victory in his opening match, but he admitted himself that he played nowhere near the peak of his powers. 140. Down into two dark range where Desremo already dwells. That's double eight left. That is somewhat covered. 36. Freebie here for James Horrell. James, you require 97. Could use this set. He's got a lot of fans out there this evening. Treble 19, the target. Well, he's going for two tops here. 17 tops, tops. 57. That's different. I, I kind of like it. 16. Game Double eight is from the, the Belgian. He takes Don't the early advantage. Well. Somewhat Second quiet out there when he hits the double, but if Hurl had hit those two double tops, then this place would have had a little bit of early volume. But I'll go back to that 2018 championship, Murph, just for a second, because I distinctly remember that one. Not just because it was McGinney versus Durant in the final and it went all the way, but because when Jim Williams was in that tournament, 40. he walked out to James Hurl, Hurl's music in a glorif glorifying tribute to James's friend. And I thought, that proves Swear just how much of a community this is. And I'm just really, really glad to have him back. But when we talk about the WDF world number one at the minute, we have to talk about him being a hey, potential champion, won. right? But first hurdle, you've got to get over it. You've got to get your first win on this stage. Absolutely. And Desremo did that. Dropped only the first leg. 140. In that victory against the Australian Donovan Lottering, but it was by no means an easy win. In fact, he won the second set 3 0, but it took 60 darts to complete it. We saw from Steenbergen earlier this afternoon that having that first game in the bank, that first win, it can have a great effect on your future performance. Performances. 140. Will be thinking, if I just do what she did and improve my average by 15, I might have a chance. Well, Hurrell has only thrown a dozen darts in this leg. Had one bad score, but has 80. had a hat trick of two treble turns. Games you require 56. To leave himself on 56 for a 14 darter. Double 12 now. Getting really creative with these outshots, isn't he? 97 was a bit different. The 56 is very different. Double six. 50. He's languished. Down on little Richard. Johnny Richard's Require double. 160. Surely not. Well, I was right. Double three, 25. though. 
can be a, James, you require six. a tricky little customer. Oh, it's a James lovely Arthur shot from Horrell. James Horrell. Horrell. There's there, room Jordan to improve in this game. game, but the early jousting is giving us an even game. Good stuff. There we just saw Belgium's number one darts fan cheering on the Belgian in the field. He's probably the darts fan. If there was a world championship for darts fans, I think Jackie would have, would have the belt. Yeah, I could have taken away the word Belgian and just said the number one darts fan, couldn't I? Yeah, I can't think of anybody who's a bigger darts fan than Jackie. Maybe Bully. He's been around a while. 42. Now, James Horrell's got a really interesting technique. I just wanted to bring this up because that hand of his when he grips the dart is 96. what I call crunched. And it means the entire palm is enveloped by all of the fingers. Now, if you look at his right small finger, it is almost straight onto the nub of the thumb. And when he throws the dart, 99. the little finger curls up. It's a very unusual technique. Just have a look at it here. It reminds me a little bit of Ronnie Baxter, the way that he used to hide 100. the dart in his hand. Yeah, if you get the, the right snapshot of his drawback towards his face, there'll be no dart in sight. It's almost like he's performing a magic trick. One hundred and forty. No oh, there it is. I'm going to throw it. I thought about throwing darts like that, Paul, but I couldn't see the point. Well, hillbillies know a few things about tumbleweeds. I can see one skirting Eight, by the commentary one. box. John, you require 135. Well, Dedramo can make a point here, 135. I was looking at the 25 or the bull. Hurrell may do the same when he comes back. Plenty of options on 105. 99. That's worked out pretty well. James, you require 105. Now, Hurrell obviously likes tops, tops. Does he go bull here? Nope. And he doesn't get one shot at tops. Very close, 53. though. 53. There's Ramor for 2 1 in 36. set one. This is following a pattern already. That's a lovely hit. And he's John raising Desiree. his level a little bit in this Fourth match compared to his previous this. performance. Game he on. did need to do that, and he is finding it. And we've seen it time and time again, haven't we? Players haven't all won, but they've certainly raised their game after that first appearance on the 135. stage. 135. Came close to hitting the match's first max. I think the obvious example was actually in the women's tournament, Priscilla Steenberg and his afternoon. 45. It's happened so many times over the years. There are three words that are attached to getting through round one. Just get through. And one thing we will see, these are, are two players who share different experiences of the lakeside. Obviously, John has won a game on this stage. James has not. John is on debut. James is not. But it is now 10 Fifth. years Eight. since the last debutant won the tournament that was Christian Kist in 2012 when he took out Tony O'Shea in the final 60 well, five ranking titles for James Hurrell one of the reasons why he finds himself 136. in the that he does most recently the Isle of Man Classic this year, earlier this year, when he beats the 15-year-old sensation, Luke Littler. What a performance he put in yesterday. Didn't he just? I think there's going to be more titles in the future for James 40. as well. Someone's on a 60th birthday. Bash at the lakeside. 27. Well, 60's a good number to be at the darts, isn't it? Everybody's looking for the 60. And we will find it here. You don't hear of many dart players from Gloucestershire, do you? 60. You and I have been around the game for quite a while. You hear of a lot of players from 
likes of Merseyside, maybe Staffordshire, but you know, Gloucestershire is a bit of a forgotten county when it comes to English darts, but they've now 50. got the England captain, which Danger is what Hurl is. 146. He's got a chance to level the set here, plenty of time to do so. Just failing 100. until then to find his range on that 60. It had been four visits without a treble. 165. Oh, that's beautiful from Desremont. Huge pressure on this now. Double 18. Got to hit it. 10. That could be the end of set one. You require 20. Huge, huge throw from Desremont in his previous visit. Two tens. Oh, and he Game finds shot. it. Last and start set. in hand. John Desmond. And the killer B stings James. He's going to get his first one on the Lakeside stage this evening, but he's going to have to do it in a slightly more difficult way now. Yeah, the last match he played was that Isle of Man classic 100. final that I mentioned before the interval when he beat Luke Littler. So he's on a, a good run of winning games. 100. I don't think anybody's on a better streak than Makuru Suzuki, though. She's never lost on this stage. Imagine that for your confidence. 60. Well, have you ever played at the Lakeside? Oh, there's the noodle. Well, he's he never loves, lost. Us, loves us when we call him that. He's never lost on the stage either. That's enough. true. 100% record. One for one. One hundred. And that's pretty flawless as well. Yeah, and just so we don't confuse you, Brian Roman is the number one seed for the tournament because he was top of the tree when the ranking cycle finished. Obviously, this tournament was initially going to be held in January. Yeah, sometimes the existing rankings and seedings don't correlate. But of course, because of the delay 57. between January and April, there are some differences. Come to think of it, Paul, you've never lost on this stage. It's great, isn't it? He has never played on it. 59. Did a test match up there. John, you require 164. With a cameraman. I did win. On double one, wasn't it? You know, it might have been. 24. James, you require 142. 142. Which way does he fancy? He's not going to complete the combination. And Desiree Mo having. 58. Hit that maximum. John, you require 140. He's put himself in a position to break the throw. Even 100 would be perfect here. Hurrell may only get a dart at the bullseye from 84. James, you require your 84. crystal ball there, Murph. Does it say that Hurrell is winning this leg? He should. Oh, it's a beauty, and a first an absolute James beauty Hurrell. from Hurrell, and exactly what he needed to get this crowd thinking he's back in the match. Only one leg down, though. Still work to do in set two. 41. Yeah, under pressure as well. They are the important finishers. His highest checkout before that, his only checkout before that was six. I've got another point to make about Hurrell. 99. As you see, another great darts fan with a fine hat there. Not as good as Jackie's. But if you think about the England 16. captains that have played on this stage, you automatically think that those captains are going to just get a little bit more support from the other England internationals 45. who are in the building. You see Horrell there just getting a bit frustrated, but can you imagine the swagger when you go into tournaments and when you go to sleep at night thinking, I'm England captain. Think of the other names that have had that honour bestowed on them. John Law, Martin Adams, 66. Scott Mitchell, Tony O'Shea and others. That is an all-time list of great English players. Ninety-five. Speaking of legends, there is one that we lost exactly four years ago today. Eric Bristow, the crafty Cockney, sadly missed. First winner at the Lakeside in 86. 
140. I'm just going back to your point about that with Hurrell. Being in the tap team, being the WDF ranked number one, yeah, maybe there is a certain swagger about it, as it certainly is in this visit from Desrimo. But it also brings Jamie pressure. Fire, 151. Yeah, it does. Only one way to relieve pressure. Just hasn't quite got the proximity of that 60 with dart one. A lot of his scoring visits are coming with pressure on darts two and three. He's having to search for scores. And John, the majority of the time, he's not coming up trumps, giving Desmond more chances like this. Yeah, That's a really good kill in four darts. John Desmero. And his performance the level in this match has really first. risen since he was playing Donovan Lottering in the last round. Yeah, and that's what he was hoping for. He won it 6-1 in legs, 2 0 in sets, but he himself said, I've got to play a lot better to cause her any trouble at all. Averages do reflect 55. that. 55. The person with the higher averages in the better position. Often, the averages do lie to us, but not on this occasion. Well, the average for Dead Rimo in that previous match we were talking about was 43. 10 points less by the end of the game. Hurrell really struggling here. Look at that. He knows it's not going to plan. 36. It seems very subdued. Maybe he needs to go full on Cameron Menzies. And when he hits something, he just needs to let it out. 100. He needs to visualise a more positive outcome. He's got great technique. Lovely extension of the arm when he throws every dart. He needs to believe in himself and that he can get 100. through this game because he does have a high level, higher level of ability than John Desmero most of the time. Just has to 41. stop the negativity, unfortunately. It's just not going his way so far. Well, one of the things I wanted to ask you, actually, and it seems like a good time to do it, is as a darts player, in this match, 84. a lot of Hurrell's darts have been really close to the treble 20, but it's been 60, 60, 60. He finds it this time. But sometimes, are the ones that are really close and don't go in more annoying than the ones that you throw that are miles away? They can be, yes. Because you think when you throw a certain dart that that's in, and when it doesn't find the target, especially when it's a blocker dart, 96. depending on how the darts land James for you, 149. constantly frustrated. There you see an overcompensation, but 137. that's much on the recovery John, as part of that visit. If this goes, this will sting. Like a bee! A killer bee! Oh, wow! Hurrell's going to feel Desmero. that. That was gorgeous from Desmero. Fourth leg the is John to throw first. Best the bullseye to break the throw, to lead the set. And now he throws to double his advantage in this 26. clash. And a shock could be on the cards in the opening match of the evening. Long way to go, though. I've already seen matches in this tournament that have gone to 2-0 to someone and people have called their way back. This is the beautiful thing about a world championship. It's not a quick format. That whole best of three scenario is gone. We're into round two now. 100. Adding another couple of sets potentially as we see the back of James Richardson right there. It's almost like he knew the camera was there. You've got a bit more time to play 100. with if you have a slow start. Yeah, two more best of five sets. Men's matches coming up tonight. Jules Van Dongen against Ryan De Vreda. And as we've been talking about earlier in the show, the defending champion Wayne Warren, 100. the Welshman, going up against Lee Shewan. There is a best of three match, though, to come after this. The last 16 of the women's event sees Twinkle Joe Clements take on Kirsty Hutchinson, who's in some form coming into the tournament. No, I can see Team Killer B on that, but 
that's a bee drawn on there. You need to make it a bit bigger. It might just be one they've swatted. 55. Possibly. Now we get a yellow pen. Well, this one is certainly proving to be a pest, but in truth, Hurrell 96. is the architect of his own downfall in this match. Really hasn't got going. And that stage can do funny things, can't it? He's getting frustrated with not finding his first dart. 100. He's throwing them really well. But you can tell that he's just not finding comfort because every dart is getting full attention. He's not in autopilot mode. 52. In a somewhat long format Danger match here, which you need to find. Bullseye, maybe. In that spot, I'm 50-50 on the bullseye in the 42 segment there. John, you require 130. However. Well, he knows all about this one. 2060 bull. This is not a replay. 92. And he proves it as well, allowing Hurrell the opportunity to break. And this could be James, you require a table turning 40. moment in this match. I thought you were going to go full on garage then, see, can we get a rewind? Can we get a double 10? No. 30. And Desremore. John, Double 19, 38. or 38 points, however he chooses, which is now six for double 16, for two, love. You could tell he 30. was a bit nervous on those shots. You can tell on his face that he was. James, you require They 10. were not close, and Hurrell is Mr. Fortunate because he's coming back to keep this set alive. Well, this is it. This could be the leg that... Decides the destiny of the darts match. And Hurrell hits. On a fourth Hurrell wins. James Still doesn't look comfortable. But he breaks back. And in doing so, puts the second set in his control. Fifth leg is James. What an intriguing Tufus. game of darts this is. You don't need 100 averages sometimes for a bit of a head scratcher. Or a really intriguing contest. But what really has to change, as you can see, are the doubles for Hurrell when he gets there. Hitting one from every five 25. isn't good enough at this level. You need to be finding probably every two from five. Desremore will be thinking, this set should be done. I should be throwing at the start of set three here. I wonder what his mindset is right now. He seems a rather 100. unassuming type, doesn't he? A cool, calm customer. And actually does look the more comfortable of the pair. 44. It's almost like the anti-Brian Roman. You know, Brian was so pumped up last night and full of confidence, but you don't get many words out of John Desremont. 100. There we win Stanley, just trying to soak up the atmosphere before we see her in the draw tomorrow. 57. She's up against Vicky Prum of Sweden. Yeah, former finalist here at the lakeside, Lorraine Win Stanley. Plenty of intrigue in that 41. women's tournament this year, a record breaking prize fund. The winner will pocket £25,000. Do you know what, Chris? There's one game on tomorrow that I'm looking forward to most, and that's Bo Greaves against Veronica Inas. I think that's going to be awesome. Well, this is a huge leg in the context of this match and the title tilt of the WDF number one, and he's making his move. He makes his move. The first one eighty of the contest, and it couldn't have come at a better time. I don't mean to be negative at all, but why was he looking at the score? Didn't he know he was on 2-3-5 before that visit? You know what you got now, James? 55 to get these people off their seats. Oh, he didn't need that, though. Double eight, then, to clean up. 39. And he can't clean up, and now he has to hope John, you require 160. that Desremo does not pull another rabbit out of the hat. No rabbits here. No hats here. 
40. Hurl's thinking my Danger kingdom Dubai for a double 16. eight. Game shot and, and a second the set. James Hurl. Hurl. Well, you called it, Paul. He needed to release a little bit of emotion. Third set, first leg is John there. to throw first. Don't be shy, Game James. On. It's not very often you come to the lakeside. We haven't seen you in a little bit of time. Get up there, give it some. 60. Well, the last couple of legs will probably prove to be the key moments in this match. We saw some nerves from Debrimo when he had the opportunity to wrap up the set. He was a long distance away with those darts to do so. And Hurrell has found his way back and squared 60. it up and can settle down a little bit. And it's great to see the people that make the game work for the kids here at the lakeside, enjoying the night of the arrows themselves. Yeah, don't blame them. Hurrell's enjoying himself a little bit more at the start of set three. Maybe that release of emotion tells us exactly what kind of a player he is. A lot of the venues that he will play around where he won't be able to scream 100. or let things go like that. In order to become a Lakeside style player, you have to learn from what works. Him having that little primal scream there at the 96. end of the set, it worked. James, you're Do it more. Well, since then, he's gone 100, 140, 100. And that's a good dart as well. Excellent stuff. You require 145. Proper darts from Hillbilly. And he's going to get a look at that 71. For possible... 47. Possibly a 14. James, you require dart. 71. Maybe more in the tank of this goes. That's six. That leaves 65. So he must go for the 15 section here. 25 is too risky. It is the bullseye. The bull finish floored him earlier. 30. But he's nowhere near it. John, you require 98. Travel 18, surely now. Well, I don't mind that play. 40. He obviously had a guide for the 60. If he hit it, it was double James nine. Require 41. Now Hurrell's on 41. Tops. Too safe. 21. Too shy. John, you require 54. Well, tops now for his opponent. Double 10. That's Forty. wild, it's nervy. James, you require 20. I think we're going to be embroiled in a battle here. Game Super shot. And for some James reason, Hurrell. James Hurrell kept his emotions in check there. I don't know why. Let it go, James. Let it go. Second leg is James to throw first. <laughs> I love that face. Game on. He wants this badly. Maybe a little bit too much. But if he can find that autopilot mode where things just start to click, he could be in the distance really quickly. It is, though, another leg. In which is just a cluster of darts at double. And that will be concerning him at the moment. Dark players tend to remember what their shortcomings are before their positivities. And when you miss doubles, it does plague on your mind a bit. But he's missed 18 in this 134. Match. Do you ever remember a day where Dieter's not smiling? 57. Well, she'll be hoping to be smiling tomorrow afternoon. Hedman takes on the Australian Tory Kewish, who beat a good friend from Scotland, Lorraine Hyde, in the opening 100. round. 100. That's going to be a great game as well. I think there are plenty of people that would like to see Dita smiling with the trophy in her hand on Sunday. 100. Now, James. James will require 167. Exactly one third of 501. Slightly less now, but only 152 after that first dart. 
54. Not what he intended. So Desremont now is thinking Max to leave double 12. No longer. Yeah, it's all just still being... 134. Made difficult. James, you require 130. By Hurrell himself. Looking to put it right. 13. 40. 73. Over the top, and it allows the opportunity John, you to break 70. back. Is it all right for me to say that some of these shots at tops are really missing by some distance? You just did. Double 16. 54. That was close. But if Horrell's going to hit tops James on a regular basis, 40. he's got to fix the sat-nav. Destination, 40. Go south. Go east. To tens. 20. John, you require 16. Incredibly shaky stuff on the outer ring. Now 21 darts missed a double in this match. Will he be punished for those? 12. Not on this occasion. James, you require 20. This game is more edgy than a day at the cliff. Well, Desiree himself has now missed 14 darts at double. Paul finally pops it right, line. and he can breathe a sigh James of relief. Horror. He has a two-leg lead, Third leg and he's on the John brink, to throw taking first. a lead in sets in this match. He can count himself very fortunate to be in this position. He'll be hoping he's not burning up too many lives in this match 100. so far. And I mentioned the word cliff. How about a shout-out for the great Cliff Lazarenko? Big Cliff. He had some great times here. And at the World Championship in the 80s. What a man. 59. Well, Hurrell was supposed to be the man at this tournament. But it's been a torturous performance 96. for him. And it, it looks like he's going through torture. Somebody said to me this morning, you're quite the wordsmith. That word, the ultimate personification 100. of this game. Torturous. That's for Dead Remote. He's just happy to plod on, isn't he? And try and take the opportunities when they come, and they do keep coming. 85. Could have easily levelled up here. <laughs> Absolutely right. He'll still believe that he can win this set, but he may be feeling the frustration of his opponent, even though he's 2 0 up in this set. 81. Even visits like that that started pretty well turn out to be average. Huffing and puffing. Do you see that reaction from Desremo? It's one of, I'm enjoying this. Even though this is a pressureful situation, he's just getting on with it. He's allowing 71. his opponent to shoulder the pressure, and if John, the darts come to Desremo, he's going to take them. Well, he can also see that James Hurrell is certainly not enjoying it. He's expressing his emotions 60. clearly, and if you've got an opponent in front of you who's showing that he's going through it, then that is going to give you more confidence. Oh, absolutely. I've seen many opponent in front of me who's putting pressure on themselves and not enjoying the experience because they're not hitting what they're going for. It's like an injection to yourself of, well, if they're going to be negative, let them. 96. I'll just get them on my thing. John, you require 100. Desremo's got to get on with this turn. 95 left. So Hurrell, even though he's not 44. playing his best darts, has got a shot here for James two Uruguay sets to one. 94. What would you do, Murph? 25 or a 54? I think he's going for the former. So now he's down for 19s. The treble would leave double six. Don't get greedy here. This is for the set. The single leaves the bolt. Bullseye to win the set. Game and shot. in it goes. And a third set. And James, James Hurrell has struggled through this match. But he bends the ball to take the third set of it.
Well, James Hurrell has huffed and puffed and managed to wait, work his way in front in this match. Desremo took the opening set, but Hurrell hit back, edging the second in a decider before winning the third set 3-0 with a brilliant bullseye checkout to complete the 94 combination. And is now one set away from avoiding what has been and still is a potential banana skin. If that 94 checkout, Murph, is not going to give him confidence coming into this final session of this match, I'm not sure what will, because you can talk about 170 finishes, you can talk about something in that sort of ilk, even nine daughters, but they're the kind of shots, they're really difficult. When you hit those you, to win sets, set, first leg, you're convincing yourself there's nothing first. that Game you can't on. do on this stage. That was... A tremendous finish, very similar to what we saw from Johnny Haynes last night to save his match against Brian Roman. 81. But what about the tail of tops in this match, Paul? Because James Hurrell has missed 23 darts at double and more than a third of them have been at that target. Maybe the frustration lies with that then. 48. Because for me, he is a tops kind of guy. Is there a case to change tact? No, because dart players are stubborn. 22. Even when you're missing your favourite double, you'll still go back to it. It's like being married, I guess. You just constantly stay there, even if you are unhappy. 60. That's just from my own personal experience. Yeah, speak for yourself, Paul. 60. And again, it's three darts close, but not close enough for Horrell. And maybe that is frustration as well but look he must be feeling a little better having turned Nine, the game on his six. head he was in severe danger of going two sets down let's not forget that Desremo missed a couple of darts to win the second set I just wonder what Hurrell was saying to himself when he came off the stage he won. obviously the break came at the wrong time because he would have preferred to have stayed up there but if he was saying negative things to 100. himself going off the stage then I think he's got to try and change his attitude towards his game, but if he was very positive after that 94 checkout, out he all is well and good, but definitely when he's come back on the stage, the scoring has somewhat disappeared very quickly again. Yeah, there's part of him that will be rather pleased to be getting away 66. with this level of performance. It's still as low as we've seen from Hurrell in any ranking match he's played, because he knows that John Desremo is no mug. He's a man who's reached the quarter-finals of the Dutch Open. 100. He won the Malta Open Johnny last Rupaya, year. 131. It doesn't matter what title it is, you've got to win it. And Hurrell, having been a player who's done the tour, will be well aware of his capabilities. Oh, absolutely. 81. James knows James exactly Rupaya, what's going 116. on. Now, 96 left, and he's got no option but the 60. That was a very difficult shot. Well, the best start that Desremo has thrown in this match has been at the bullseye. I'd love to see him go for it here, but... 54. Not going to happen. They never do, do they? John, you're oh, just once. 50. I saw it at the... Alexandra Palace showcase. He probably wishes he yeah. had gone for the ball. He may as well have. Double 16 in the end. 18. Yeah, Royden Lamb did it at Wes Newton at Ali Pali once. We were in hysterics. Desremore will be inconsolable if Hurrell finds 62. Let's see if he's going for tops then. There you see it. And once 22. again, he's high by a good centimetre. John, you require 32. More missed yeah, darts at that target. John Desmero takes full advantage. Second Desremo, leg is John to the break throw of throw. First. Game on. You're a poet, you don't know it. Desra throw. He could really be going the distance, and the players in the practice room are going to be 129. Going to relate to the next expected. That's another thing about preparing for these tournaments. The first match, the advantage of playing the first match is you know what time you're on, but. Second, third, and fourth could be in for a... 100! A night of having to re-prepare. You are so right. 
Every time I was slated for first match of the session, I was elated. One time I was given second match of the afternoon session, the first game went on forever. And you're just constantly looking at the monitors in the practice room thinking, when am I going on? But if you're first on the hey, session, you, you know exactly when you're going. And you can prepare for about a five minute window for your walk on. 90. Let's not forget as well that some of these players who have not had success on this stage are not that well versed in long format stuff. You talk about the Scott Mitchells and you talk about the Martin Adams. And some of the greats of the game. Why were they so great? Because they were constantly exposed to long format darts. And when they got the hang of that, they became more dangerous when they came back here. Yeah, just to give an insight, the players 43. tend to arrive two or three hours, some more, before their game and hit the practice board, have a little bit of a, a sit down and just get up and keep the arm loose. But there is a danger, isn't there, when there's a, a match going on longer than expected that you can end up on the stage perhaps over-practiced. Unquestionably. I've heard Kevin Pena talk about that in the past. He played John Brendan Dolan once and said, I just put in too many hours. Treble 14. Would have left double top. 83. That has been the bane of his opponent's life in this match. A scrappy score left Hurrell without an out. So Desremo will come back with two at double. 100. That was a much better rhythm, John, in my opinion, for Hurrell. Slightly quicker. 2-0. Can he hear tops? Game he can. John, a second leg. 2 John nil in the fourth. Third leg is and I James think you are right, face. Murph. I think we're going the distance. Well, I think you're right as well. Hurrell has sped up. I know we're going to see next. Hurrell in a hurry. Took the words right out of my mouth. It's almost as if I've known you for a decade. I was going to say Hurrell in a rush. 140. You would spoil it. Well, maybe that's what he needs. Look at the difference. 121. Just keep the pace up there, James. Maintain this. And don't think as much. Just let your technique and your rhythm do the talking. And you're going to come through 60. this one. We had Fallon Sherrick in the building this afternoon. She was cheering on her other half, Cameron Menzies. And when she was playing at the Grand 100. Slam last year, some of the other analysts within the game were talking about her rhythm being dependable. That's what James needs right now. He needs a dependable rhythm. 140. That he can trust under pressure. James, you require 140. One treble. Leaves that double again. 100. John, you require 161. With double top in this match, and he's going to get three more darts at it here to keep himself in this set. Well, even if Horrell does not win this set, I think we may have uncovered 95. his recipe for Game success. To 40. A slightly quicker pace, double ten. Got to go for it. 30. Could be costly. John, you require 66. Well, this is to take a whitewash set. Double 12. Two sixes. 54. Ooh. I thought for a second you did double 13. James, you require 10. Split or hit. Going straight for it. Working south. Too high. Last chance. No score. And still, the double trouble John, goes on. 12. The set has been handed to him on a plate. No score. He didn't bring a knife and fork. James, you require 10. Double two, then, to halve the deficit. In set four. Six. Well, that wasn't far away, but it is getting all too John, much for a pair of them 12. right now. There's very little pressure on Desremo on this shot of double six. 
Still, no still score. double six. Maybe there was pressure. I've lost count of how many set darts he's James, had now. You require four. Bearing gift, isn't it? Is it nine? Eight. Eight, yeah. Well, it's four required for Hurrell, but that could be in the way. Clear bed, double one, no margin for error. No score. And he has errored. And more set John, darts are coming in. 12. It's getting closer. Game shot and a four That set. is good enough. John Desborough. Well, he's whitewashed Hurrell in that set. But now Hurrell comes into Fifth this last set, set of the contest, which has no tiebreaker after on. that many missed doubles in one leg. He now has to forget that and somehow win this final set by either 3-0, 3-1 one or 3-2. If he doesn't, it's going to be a third defeat on the stage in three matches he's had. Well, you spoke about the break coming at the wrong time. It's often peddled out. And we're never sure whether it's a thing or not, but he had won the last five legs before that break, James Hurrell. And then he loses all three. Playing with breaks 90. is something that you have to learn to do. Like Warburton fans. Oh, not happy about something there. 100. Well, it helped you. I think it was a, a premature applause. Maybe they knew. That's the thing about atmospheres like this. You're going to hear everything. 100. In a full lake side, if someone, I don't know, drops their keys or something like that, you're not going to hear it. But in this kind of atmosphere, you're going to hear everything. You've got to be able to play in this atmosphere. With that said, lakeside and venues like the Circus Tavern, which we saw in the World Seniors Championship, the, the crowd have always been very much giving the players the best of order during the darts being thrown. 59. And then they make the noise in between the visits. That's true. It's always been a feature of Lakeside. Oh, that is a really, really bad time to miss fire. 24. John, you require 100. The door was open there, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm looking on the bright side. He's on a finish. That's all I've got. Desremo has the darts. And he hasn't really 34. taken advantage, so Hurrell's dodged one there. James, you require 158. Something like this could be a real catalyst for his chances of coming through this attritional match. That's a great second dart. 98. Decent third. John, you require 100. After missing the first dart at that visit, he knew he was going to have to dodge the 118. Oh, hello. 51 bull. Seventy-seven. That caught me right off guard. James, you, you don't see many 60. people going that route on one one eight. Well, his best finish of the match was that brilliant bullseye on the one thirty. Hurrell again on tops. Again, 40. can't find tops. John, you require forty-one. Double sixteen. Half that. Twenty-five. Stay there. A tale of missed doubles 20. in this match. And I'm going to need more beads for my abacus. But at least it's not double top. And he can work off that. And he works it in. And the first leg. A relief James for James Hurrell. You can tell, from our point of view anyway, because we can look a little bit further forward. We're not facing the pressure of these players right now. But if James Hurrell was to come through this, or indeed John Desremo, it's going to make for a very interesting post-match interview where there will be a genuinely long sigh of relief. 81. You can just see it is a, a personal battle for Hurrell. Dedramo's had his opportunities as well, but he has just been broken in the deciding set and it is 43. looking a little rosier for James Hurrell. who must be feeling like he's playing like a Wally. 
also a sign there for Isle of Wight. 60. In fact, that 1-1-8 one, one checkout attempt from John Desremont, the only person I've ever seen go that route on any 60. tour was Keegan Brown. He'd go 51-17 bull. As for why, you'd have to ask them. It's more of a, an exhibition shot than something that makes sense. 100. Well, whoever does win this match will have to not try and make sense of it and just put it to the back of their mind. It's not going to be one that garners much confidence, is it? No. We saw from Cameron Menzies earlier that just getting over the line with some scratchy work at the end of his game 60. was enough to give him that relief that he needs to say, I've won on the Lakeside stage. And when that is lifted from your shoulders, we might see the real Cameron Menzies step forward in the next few days. Will the real 41. James Hurrell please stand up? It doesn't matter what's gone on before. Look at the set score, James. You're 1-0 up. You're only two legs away from winning this match. This is a real mental battle now. It's almost like he's running towards the tape and the tape keeps getting further away. Just keep running. 26. Just going back to Cameron Menzies, his performance today. Saw him post the fourth highest average of the 43. tournament. 43. So far. Jim McHugh and the Scotsman want to watch. He's got the highest tournament average, and he's played two matches. 100! Better tournament average than anybody who's even just played one. Watch out for Chucky! Well, it has been a nightmare in this match for James Hurrell, who's just struggled James so much 74. on the outer ring. It's going to be one more dart. It's going to be tops again. And again, 54. he can't find it. Well, I've given up counting, Paul. At this stage of this match, considering what we've 100. seen... And I can say this because he's on double ten, but... James, you James require 20. ...wouldn't find tops if he was throwing a hedgehog. Well, quite aptly, after the struggles with 40, he's missed leg. 40 darts James at double Hull. in the game. Third but he hits John to throw and he leads game off. by two legs in the deciding set. Or well, 39, I uh, got carried away there. He's had such a bad one on tops in this match, Hurrell. But we've got to be factual. On tens, if he comes through this match, he's going to be sending double ten a thank you card. Well, the, the problem is, and you, you called it quite 100. early in the game, but the darts he was missing at tops were really, really high, so it was leaving him on that double. When he's gone low, generally, he's managed to find double ten. 78. I've always said it, if you like tops, you've got to be good at tens as well. If you like 16s, you've got to be good at eights. If you're good, if you really like double 18, you've got to be good at nines. You've got to have more than 41. one favourite double. You've got to have more in the bank than just one favourite. Desram over there with a little bit of frustration. Close to the exit 41. door, and Horrell can put his foot down. It doesn't seem right that the final three sets of this match are looking like all being 3 0 wins because every single leg seems to have been. The close four, harder battle. Maybe this is exactly what these two needed on this stage. One hundred time up there, just to figure out how they feel in different situations. Well, I'm going to be really fascinated to see the reaction of the person who wins this match. Three one nine is shrinking. He must go south now. That's really good from Horrell. Good thinking, because the single 19 trims the score to 220. The treble gets him further down. Twenty-seven. That has not worked out. That's exactly what Hurrell wanted to hear. It's easy for me to say this now, but six darts from 182. If you said this to him in a practice room, he'd get rid of this in six darts. Nine times out of ten. Straight away, he's made it difficult for himself. 41. A one. First start, and all of a sudden, 
Tedramo becomes the favourite to take this leg. We saw Dave Cameron, didn't we? 80 points, and he had nine darts from 80, and he couldn't do it. 84. Now, does Hall James get nine darts from 141? 82. Oh, hello. For the match. This would be borderline weird, considering how many doubles he's missed in the match. It doesn't make any sense at all. But James Hurrell hits a stunning checkout.